So um, basically, you know, sends me an email and it was like an incredibly nice, thoughtful email. So then I respond and we sort of start this conversation about that time, like 10, 11 years ago, because I had had this treatment, you know, and been in treatment and because of this sort of mentalization where you sort of go through the process of what might have been going on for the other person and what you were feeling and why you made the choice you made at that time. And you start to sort of let them in on your world and ask them about what was going on in their internal world or imagine it. Um, so we start to go through this and I start to very intensely and intentionally sort of mentalize what might have happened during that time. And I say to him in the email, God, I imagine it must have been like really scary for you to see, you know, me be not authentic or forthright with you. And this is what was actually going on. And this is actually why I didn't say anything. But I now I see how I sort of left you hanging and how scary that must have been. Is that what was going on for you? And is that why you called my family? And he said, yes, I was like really scared for your sort of safety. We go through this whole process of like reconstructing the, um, the event, you know, and this is what was going on for him. And this is what was going on for me. And it was like, it was incredible. It was fucking incredible. It was like, holy shit. We, it was like a dream come true for me to have an opportunity to, I don't know if I would say heal. I mean, maybe someday it will rekindle to the, to something of what it was that is happening with other people, but that I, um, I, I miss, I miss him, you know, I miss him and I miss that. I, I'm, you know, I'm sad that I don't have that relationship in a more, um, consistent sort of way. And you know, that I'm maybe still not such a safe person to be, to be friends with, or, you know, um, so I tell that story because the treatment allows you to like also begin to fill in literal, like narrative blanks in your history. If you sort of want to go in and investigate. And if you get lucky enough, you get someone who's willing to actually do that with you. And you start to like reconstitute events in ways that you begin to understand your, your past. Like you rewrite your story. It may not have been, you may not look as good in the rewrite, but like if you get to do it with, um, with someone else who was involved in it, uh, you feel love. I mean, so, um, anyway, so that's just an example of, um, sort of like very borderline or dysfunctional behavior. And like when you start to get help or treatment, 